Jack. Baby, you know for the past 10 years, we have been friends. There is something I have always wanted to tell you. And that's why I brought you to this beautiful place. I was shy before, but now I have the boldness to tell you. Where are you getting to exactly? Okay, let's just say it. Precious, will you marry me? Oh my god, Mark. Are you serious? Yes, of course. But the problem is that I have so many problems bothering me. I am not sure we can get married. Problems? Baby, don't worry. Your problems are my problems. Baby, what God has put together no man can obstruct, can touch, or even put us under. I am your hero. Baby, I love you. Please marry me. Okay, if you insist. We are 20 in numbers in our family, 10 boys and 10 girls with my mom and dad which makes 22. And I am the only one catering for the family. I have five siblings in the university and they have not paid anything since they started. So they are owing the school over 20 million dollars. And I have to pay that, so they can get their certificates. Rastaji straight. <laughs> That's not all. My elder brother is a chain smoker, he smokes cigarettes, weeds and even smokes trees. So one day when he was smoking at the backyard his head knocked, scoby doo bop bop. So they said I should bring 10 million dollars in the hospital for a brain surgery. Rasta Jester, a so much? My younger sister was trying to light the gas cooker and the flame burnt her face. I took her to the hospital, they said I should pay 12 million dollars for plastic surgery. One, two, three, four. How many bill did she even mention? It's like I had lost count. And my other brother, when he was trying to pick oranges from the tree, he fell down and broke his neck. And I am to pay 15 million dollars for his surgery. We are owing our landlord 10 million dollars for rents for 7 good years. And I also have to pay for that. My mom is a diabetic patient and she also have cancer. I need 7 million dollars for her treatment. And finally me. I am HIV positive. Thank God for bringing you to me. Mark I will marry you. Mark runs away. Wait where is my new husband? Let me call his phone number. She calls his number and he picks the call. Hello Mark. Hello, the number you are calling does not exist. Please check the number and dial again. One, eight, seven, six, bye bye. <laughs>